This is one of the best boat dock designs that I've seen on Valheim and in this video I'm going to show you how to build it. But before I do, let me give you a quick tour so you know what to expect. So from the side of the build you can see the platforms protruding into the water with the arches underneath. This is how the build looks from the side. And coming into the front of the build we have the stone entrance with the chimney up top and on the right this comfort area with the hearth for getting rid of the wet status after returning from your boat journeys. On the opposite side we have two portals to get you to where you need to be and of course at the back of the structure we have the dock itself. There's two platforms, one at either side of the dock, one fully sheltered and the other half sheltered and the dock itself is large enough to hold the longship which is currently the largest boat in the game. So now that you know what to expect, let's get into the build part of the video. The first thing you're going to need to do is build the foundation. So you're going to go six deep and eight wide. Then you're going to have a two block indentation on the top side, which is more or less where the boat's going to fit into. Once you've built this, you can come over to the back of the structure and all we're going to do is do two rotations on the stone blocks. And we're going to basically make this little V-shape in the back here. Once you've managed to make this, you can go ahead and use the wood beam two meters. And this is just going to allow you to lock in the second stone floor snap onto the beam there and just on the other side as well now you can get rid of these wood beams you want to build this as close to the water as you can so this top line needs to be as close to the water as possible because that's where the dock is going to extend from next up we're going to do our columns for the boathouse so go ahead and put one in each corner and also one two from the back here we'll do the same at the other side and once you're done it should look like this we're then going to build our entrance so we can go ahead place down four stone blocks at the front of the structure and then we'll grab the stone floor one by one place one here on either side as in building i'm going to rotate between the stone block one by ones and the two by ones we're going to build three high and then for the fourth layer we're going to put our two by ones across the structure like this once you've placed one in each corner you can join this middle section in and we can grab the stone arch and place one just on the other side of the arch then take out our scaffolding pieces and add in two wood gates here we need to add our wood floors on the front side and back side of the structure and once you're done it should look like this. Now all this allows us to do is grab our shingle roof all corners and place one in each corner and allow us to have an overhang for the door underneath. In the middle section we'll have the shingle roof 45, put a wood beam on the top, build down on the other side as well. Now I'm going to grab these beams and go around the outside of the structure. For this bit where it ties into the front entrance you might just want to change to a dark wood beam 2 meter because that means you're going to save a little bit on materials. But for all the rest, the most efficient way is to use the dark beam 4 meters. In order to make the span at the back, you're going to need to place a dark wood pole two blocks in on either side. And I'm also going to place one just here to create this little square section on the back left and right corners. Once I've done this, we're going to be looking like this. Now we're going to want to use our wood floor one by ones in order to create a overlap for the roof on the front and back of the structure. So this is going to be the front side but when I refer to the back of the structure we're referring to just the boathouse area so it's actually going to be a set of beams along here. Grab our wood wall 45 degrees and place them so that the lock point is on the edge of this wood floor. The exact same on the other side. Then we're going to have a middle section which comprises of three of these wood floors. So you put a wood beam on either side and then it's actually more efficient to use the wood croft 45 degrees at these sections here. Do this on both sides of the structure and you'll be left with this. Now at this stage we could start to build up the way and what we want to do is have an overlap on the sides of the structure as well. So in the way that we've created this overlap with these wood floors on the side, we want to create this one block overhang on the edge of the structure as well. Now what we're going to do is follow the profile all the way along the structure that we've already created with the wood beams. Once you're done it should look like this. At this stage all we need to do is take out this slot here because this is going to be our chimney and this is on the right hand side of the structure. We can go ahead and grab our dark wood beam 2 meters and we'll just tie off all of this around the outside. And then on the outside we'll bring these up for 2 meters with the dark wood pole. At the top we can grab our shingle roof 26 degree and there should be a lock point created. So we can have this overhang on the chimney as well. We jump up top we can place down a shingle roof 26 degree and then we'll also place down a shingle roof 26 degree on the opposite side. So I can now get rid of all of my scaffolding and at this stage we can put in the walls. Now I'm just going to use half walls all the way around the structure and a wood wall one by one at the front of the structure and then we can do the same along the underside of the beams supporting the roof. Once you've done that on both sides of the structure it should look like this and then all I'm going to do is use the dark wood divider and I'm going to be rotating this every second spot. I'll work my way around the structure and then on the way back 
I'll rotate it 180 degrees and all that's going to allow it to do is keep the pattern symmetrical on either side. Okay now with the boat house done we can get started on the exciting parts. So what you're going to want to do is I'm going to use the Stonewall 4x2 and I'm going to lock it on to the bottom of the foundation that we already set. If you're struggling to get a lock point you might just need to mine away some ground there but more or less what we're going to be aiming to do here is build this wall and then a log beam 4 meters and then we'll build down using a log pole 2 meters and you want it to be locked into this stage of the build and what this is going to allow us to do is with the stone wall 4x2 we should be able to use that as a snap point on the end of this log pole and have something like this now from this stage we can use the stone arch and we're going to go four along on one side and then four along on the other side. We're going to do the log beam four meter again. We're going to lock in using the log pole two meters on the far side. And then from here we should be able to create a lock point with the stone wall four by two. If your ground is slightly deeper or slightly higher and you're having some issues, what you can do is use the log pole four meters and lock into the stage here. Now if you can't get this lock point, it's useful to lock in just beforehand like this with the four meters and then what this is going to allow you to do is lock into the proper point like this now of course i already have a piece in there but that's something just to be aware of when you're making this build so again stone arches take out the beams and we're going to do this one last time here i'm going to use the log pole four meters to lock in halfway through the beam and then we'll snap in with the log pole two meters now it's sometimes useful just to have a boat or raft or something here and then we can snap in and then use the stone wall 4x2 along the bottom. If you're not managing to get the snap point that we need, so like here for example, all you need to do is grab your stone wall 2x1, place it along the bottom, and then that's going to allow us to have the stone wall 4x2 at the right elevation. We finish this off as we have with every other build. So now we can put the floor on, which is going to be the stone floor 2x2. Two two. And once you're done, you should have this really impressive arch structure for your boat dock. You're going to want to do exactly the same on the other side so when you're done it should look like this. So just like before now we're going to start putting in some dark wood poles so that we can build up the roof. Now on one side I'm going to have half of this area just left out in the open and then on the other side I'm going to have it fully sheltered. So on this side I'm going to have the poles just in the middle and then we can use our dark wood beams come all the way along and then on the opposite side I'm going to have them in the middle but also on the end. Now the design for this is going to be wood half walls along the bottom and I'm going to do this for any section which is underneath the beam that we made earlier. So you can see on the fully sheltered side I have the wood walls going all the way around and then on this side I have them only going halfway around and that's because I'm going to put a dark wood beam along the bottom of the structure as well just to trim it off and put up a sort of fence using the cage wall one by one. So now with the trim in place, what I like to do is any area that's sort of close to land, so like this area here, I like to just fill this in with the dark wood dividers and the same again on the other side. And then for any section which is more or less just overlooking water, you can just leave this open. So now we can start to work on the roof. I'm going to use the wood floor one by ones and just go along the edge of the structure. Now for this front part, we don't need a wood floor here, but we do need it on either side. So basically, the beams that run the length of the dock need a wood wall one by one and the ones on the end of the dock don't. The only place where that isn't true is on this inside beam just here. So once you're done it should look like this and then at this stage you can just use the same technique we've used elsewhere in the structure. So it's going to be using the wood beam 45 will come from the end of the structure here and we'll build up with the roof cross up top and also down below. Now that I'm looking at this I'm going to take the dark wood beam out of there and replace this with 2 meter regular wood beams. We can place on our shingle roof 45 degree and just work along the edge of the structure. Remember when you're doing this you want to make sure that we have this overlap on the front of the structure as well. Once you've built your way around the structure and you get to this middle section you're going to want to have the 45 degree shingle roofs in the centre and then we have the interior corners on this inside piece. On the other side we just take this shingle roof directly downwards, we'll have an eye corner connecting to the eye corner and then we'll have the roof ridge 45 degree going all the way along to the front of the structure like this. Once you're done with the roof, it's going to look like this. And then all we really need to do is work on trimming the structure. So I'm going to do the same here as I did on the other side, which is basically change this to the regular wood beam. We'll have the 45 degree going upwards with the 
good roof cross. Then we'll also have another cross just up top here. Now I just had to take out the roof ridge component just to get that in, but we can just replace that and drop back down. Now this pattern I created, I'm going to do the exact same for the outside sections of the roof pieces. And I think that has really good depth to it, so I'm going to leave it with this style on both sides. Now just as a free tip, if you're struggling with putting on stuff like the trim up top here, things that face the water, what you can do is grab yourself a cart, place it down somewhere, throw it into the water and then it should come back up facing upwards and if you jump in there you more or less have a working platform that you can use and build from in the water. Now what's great about this is if you're careful enough you can just walk around. So as you can see I'm in the back of the cart, I have a working platform in the water and I can use it just to put on the final details for this build. You can put on one of these dragon adornments on the front here. Once you're done with it, you can either try and walk it out like this, or you just swim to the front, attach it to yourself, and then you can just swim out. Okay, almost done now, but what I'm gonna do here is add in some stairs, just in case you happen to fall out your boat and you need to get an easy way back in. And it's up to yourself how far you wanna go here. I'm gonna do something like this, so have a flat, and then one last piece of stairs. We got two stair components on either side of the dock. And when you're done you're going to have these gateways here so it makes sense to put a little door on. I'm going to use the wood shutters for this. Two on either side. We have a kind of weird shape for this diagonal here so I'm going to use the wood wall half on either side connecting to the wood shutters and then we're going to have a wood wall one by one and making sure to connect to the other half wall. Now the great thing about this is when you get back you can park it in here, come off and then what I like to do is grab the wood beams and just put one on either side like this and what that's going to do is stop your boat from just sailing away somewhere when you're not looking because we've all had that we will come back and our boat's floating in the middle of the lake somewhere next up we'll put in some furniture so of course we're going to have our hearth here underneath the chimney we can put in some rugs for comfort i'm going to use the locks rugs now it's important to remember that the rugs don't actually stack now in terms of comfort so just choose whatever one you think looks best we'll maybe have a black marble table and throne at one side chest some chairs and maybe a couple of banners for comfort. Now you could take that as far as you like, that's as far as I'm going to take it, I'm going to leave it there. We'll pop in a Diverga wall lantern sort of here there on each side. Maybe pop in a little armour stand and then really the space is yours to do what you wish with it. I'm going to place in a couple of portals just behind them. You can place in signs and if you don't know we now have coloured signs on Valheim so in these signs you can open them up and using I think it is HTML you can type in colour it goes green close it and for this one we'll say this is store so we've got a comfort of a living you can obviously make this a lot more if you want to and then we have this full dock area which I think is really efficient in terms of materials it looks really nice so now you know how to build this boat dock if you liked the video please do leave it a like and subscribe and if you want to support the channel further you can always join as a member thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one